Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a hot, hot, hot minute, but I'm still here. We're all still here. Um, it's been a very, very challenging um, year, past two years um, since being on YouTube, but um, I promised John Feely when I did his podcast that I had a really cool surprise um, hatching and uh, it's a really important project to me. It means so much and um, I wanted to share that with you guys. So um, I don't have any fancy equipment that I'm using. Um, my room's still a hot mess from Arlington. Um, so bear with me. This is going to be a rough first YouTube video back, um, back on the YouTube. But um, I'm so excited to show you what we've uh, what we've hatched today. So let's take a look. So a little bit of backstory is um, this that's in here is um, something that's super super important to me, and um, I, I cried like a baby just like I did when I had my first clutch from Sally. Um, these snakes mean a lot to me. Um, I'm, I'm just so excited. So it's not ball pythons. Um, and even if it wasn't ball python, or even if it wasn't um, this particular species, it would still be very important to me because these snakes meant a lot to somebody else that I truly, truly care about um, that has passed away. So, okay guys. So these were laid on um, Tony's 56th birthday. So even, even more special. Um, I actually pulled these on New Year's Eve. Uh, I let her set for an entire day because um, I, I knew they were coming. I wasn't 100% sure this is the first time I've ever uh, bred blood pythons. So I'm super excited. You can see a little head. Oh, I'm trying to do this on my phone. No fancy equipment. I'm just so excited. Um, so ignore the dirty dishes and everything else. It's a little crazy right here. Um, we're going to get back on it on the YouTube here. And we're going to, we're going to get back going. Uh, life's just been super, super crazy here lately. Um, with everything going on, but let's check these babies out. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, so we lost two eggs. So out of 16 eggs, 14 have hatched. They've all picked on their own a little early. I wasn't planning on them being here for another week. Um, but my incubator does do some funny things and it does run a little warmer. So let's see what we've got. Right. Look at that. Look at those. So look at those little noses coming out. Hello. Hello, babies. Look how precious. Let's see what we got in this tub. These are Sims container boxes. Um, my incubator was acting funny last year, so I wanted to put these in Sim container boxes uh, just because I know these hold really great uh, humidity and um, temperature really well. Uh, they saved a clutch of ball pythons I had last year that were super molded, and you can see this one egg right here um, did start to mold. Uh, I didn't do anything to it. I didn't put any like foot powder or anything on it. You know, I just that it wouldn't go bad and you can tell there is a baby coming out so so far all look to be healthy um, I'm a little sniffly I've cried a little bit but this is like such a awesome experience um, you know I wish I had blood pythons under a different circumstance but I mean I, I just I'm so in love with these things So these belong to uh, Richard Jones Reptiles, um, Tony Jones, who had passed away. I had a pleasure of getting to um, do this, thanks to his wife, Angie. They are just precious. Like, I'm so excited to see what's all in here. Um, the pairing was a... Batik Het T positive. T 
to a VPI gold mine T positive. guys so i'll keep you guys updated on what we're hatching and like i said we'll get back to the whole youtube thing um soon uh, i was just so excited to share this with you guys this has been one of the most uh, rewarding experiences in my entire life so i'm extremely blessed and i definitely couldn't thank uh angie enough for trusting me with these um with these guys so i'm so excited i cannot wait uh it's been a blessing and a curse having the snakes out in a building. So I woke up tons and tons of times during the night, wanted to go check on them, see if they're hatching and it's been too cold. So I don't want to run in and out of the house. So it's kind of saved me from bothering these so much, but it, the suspense has been killing me and it's still killing me. I cannot wait. Um, so thank you guys. I will be seeing you more often. Have a great day. Reduced.